All right, I'll be solving continuous subarray sum, and I think it's not medium. It, I, it's going to be hard, the level, because yeah, the logic here it's highly mathematical. So let's take step by step, and take for example this. So basically, the question is if you can find a sum, a sum of subarray that is a multiple of k, so 6 is a multiple of k, right? For example, all this, 42 is a multiple of k. If we can find such a subarray, then we return true. So let's say, starting from the first element to index i, let's say 0 to 3, we call it sum i. If we, mod if we modulus k, so sum, div sum mod k, it would be sum k times some integer like k times 1 plus whatever uh, value that's remaining. Let's call it mod k1. And same, from the first element to index j, um, if we mod it by k, it would be k times some kind of integer value y plus some uh, remaining value, mod k divided by 3, uh, mod k2, sorry. And if this value and this value is the same, okay, if if the modulus value is the same, then subtracting formula 1 and formula 2, we get sum i minus sum ij on the left side, and this gets cancelled because it's the same value, right? And k, we just get x minus y in bracket times k, which is a constant times k. So effectively, the difference is the sum of elements between index i and j, and the value is a multiple of k, which is what we're looking for. Okay, that's the pure mathematical explanation. So basically, what we want to do is get a, re get a running sum of this array, and the re remainders that we get. So we're going to um once we calculate this running sum we're going to divide um we're going to modulus it by k so i think this is was modulus 6 yeah so modulus 6 5 modulus 6 1 1 5 0 etc so we get remainder 5 at index 0 and 3 right so this means that this running values right if we minus it so whatever values we have inside that subarray is a multiple of k because here we have said that sum i minus sum j okay if the modulus is the same that would result in um in a in a sum difference that is a multiple of k okay so if uh, index 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 35 minus 23, that's 12, right? So um, the subarray in between it has a value that uh, that is a constant of k. So that's what we're looking for. And we have to um, consider a edge case. Um, should we just uh, run it first? Okay, so not considering the edge case first. So integer hash map. Okay, and for int i equals 0 i less than norms dot length i plus plus okay oh we have to initialize a running sum equals 0 so remember we're gonna add up our values okay and we're gonna modulus it by k Okay, and if 
Oh. And we're gonna get whatever value. Um, Map.get running sum. So basically, if we meet certain condition and else, what we are storing in our map is the running sum, which was the modulus of k and the index. Okay. Um, the running sum and uh, we're storing the modulus of the running sum and the index in the map okay and if so if we have not seen such a index that has the same modulus value then we just put that modulus value and that index but if we have seen that modulus value somewhere before so if we map dot get key oh no so if we have not seen such an index um, then we know that oh uh, then we just put it but if there's such an index that exists so if perf is not equal to null Oh, sorry. Then, and if, so subarray has to be a length of two or more, right? So i minus prep has to be greater than one. Then we return true. Um, and else, if we have done everything, then we know it's false. Okay, that works. So just, I'll, co I'll cover the edge case first. So the edge case is when the running sum is exactly equal to the multiple of k. Then after we calculate the modulus of k, running sum becomes zero, right? Because it's exactly equal to n times k. So actually, if we try to get a map dot get zero, actually we don't have such a value. We don't have such yeah, a key or a value set. So that's why we have to add um, zero and minus one to handle this case. And it's value minus one because summary has to be at least two. So I like for example I is like uh, one. And one minus minus one, that's two, right? One plus one, so that's that means that it's true. So uh, yeah, it's I don't think it's medium. It's highly highly mathematical. And we use a double brace in initialization. You can just uh, look at this Stack Overflow. I'm not gonna. Um, it but put zero and minus one okay and we do it okay yeah so <laughs> this question is really not medium at all i think the mathematical logic let me just summarize it okay so we're gonna add the running sum with the values in our array and calculate the modulus of the running sum modulus it by k and if we have found the same modulus somewhere in two indexes and if those indexes difference is greater than one then it can form a subarray and this mathematical logic is when there's a difference between this and when modulus is the same like 5 oh, where is it yeah 5 equals 5 then there must be uh, a difference 
the difference would be the sum of elements and between i and j and that difference is also the value that also proves that value is a multiple of k so this is a constant of k so basically if the modulus is the same then we know that the difference in sum would uh, mean that it's a modulus of k so yep the logic is first oh yeah i didn't get it at first i took quite a while to understand it but that's all and i'll see you guys next time bye